Okay guys, this week we're having a look at testing tips. You know when you're doing an AICR and you want to speed things up a little bit without cutting any corners? Well I've found a way of doing it using the Superrod IR link combined with the Superrod R1R2 links. And you can pick these up for about 25 quid from all good wholesalers and probably get them online and stuff. They are worth it, they do speed things up and I'll, we'll just go through how the process works particularly on an RCBO board. First thing to do, obviously, make sure everything's off, make sure everything's dead. I've previously done that, but for what it's worth, we'll just have a quick flick here. There we go, all dead, all dead. Double check, yep. Everything's nice and dead. So we are good to go. Now to help me along with the test, I've dragged the old Q-Tech out of retirement with a fresh calibration sticker on there so I've got the three leads connected it's obviously it's insulation resistant so it's not a three lead test check we're on insulation there turn the thing on does it even yeah it's coming on so yeah we'll just flick that over to 250 volts because as per guidance note three on the 18th edition I think is the second amendment two now is it uh, we can test to 250 volts with uh, connected equipment. So again, three leads. We're not using three leads. That's just it's a bit confusing, I guess. But we'll connect the earth up there to the earth bar. Connect that one up nice and tight there. Now, just to assist me, I've just grabbed a little crop clip thing there. Just kind of clip of some kind to hold these leads out. We'll get the IR link out itself. So here it is in the box. This box, this is what you get. This is how it is. So on one end, we've got how it can connect to pretty much all these leads, all the leads that kind of come in that that uh, style. It will connect up to them. And then you've got a, a red and a yellow lead. The red one is slightly longer. Again, this is bespoke. This is exactly for RCBOs. So it's you'll see when we connect up, like I said, I'm just going to drape this over there just to kind of help take the weight of the thing. So we can connect up to, let's say, we'll connect up to the cooker there. So my yellow is going in the line and the red is going into the neutral. So we're going to test between line and neutral and earth. And so we'll turn the light on the Q-Tech. Can you see this? Spin this round. And I'll just give it a quick test, see what we get. So already we've got 1999, we were above 200 ohms there, 200 mega ohms there easily. Uh, we can even spit that up to 500 volts because I happen to know there's no equipment connected in this property. So we're good there. Again, we're, we're not going to 1,000 volts it, but just another couple of demonstrations. So right there, and then we can take a reading off that, write that down. And I haven't had to take any of the cables out of the RCBOs, interlink them with crop clips or anything like that. It's just just simple. It's so speedy. Incidentally, these are magnetic, as you can probably see there. Uh, and you can connect them up to the next circuit. And the next circuit is a shower. So again, we're on 250. Uh, it's a six mil cable. So we'll just hit that. 199.9 um, let's check out a different circuit let's see the lighting circuit so it's a 1.5 mil cable again I haven't undone any of, cable, any of the cables out the terminals we just stuck them in there using the the IR link and the magnets and it's uh, it's, it's it's you know it's a good connection it's a verified connection and uh, we'll just Hit that again, see what it comes up. So it's again, it's you know greater than 199.9 meg ohms. So what I want to do now, I mean, a little a little tip I found as well, because it's magnetic, you can just leave it there and it'll look after itself, somewhere to hang it while you're testing it. What I want to do now is get my other tester out, just to, just to go and read you again, just to test it out. Okay, I've got the mega connected up now. Then up to the earth bar there, we'll select 250 volts and 
connect up the IR link again and we'll test the same three circuits. I think that was cooker, shower and light. So we'll test the same three circuits with a different tester. Again, we should have the same readings. They do test slightly different. As you saw, the QTEC just said greater than. It didn't actually give a number more than. It just said it was greater than. So connected up here. There is a little pull on this. Again, that's why I'm using the, the little clip there to kind of so that doesn't the entire weight of the lead doesn't pull off. So I'm just it's just like a little handy assistant, I suppose. Um, we'll connect them back up there. They are quite strong magnets, so there is a good connection going on. Um, and we're good to go for a test. Again, this is a line and neutral to earth, between line and neutral and earth. We've got uh, 999 mega ohm there, and we're on the 250 mark. Can you see that clearly? Uh, if I just spin this round. Uh, so we'll jump on the shower, give the same test. That's that giving us 999 again. Again, I do happen to know the shower pull cord is on, so we are testing the full length of the circuit. Now we're going to go into the lights, to the lighting circuit. Connect up to your line of neutral again. So yellow on the line, red on the neutral. And we'll test again. So it's not flying right over 999 like the previous two circuits. And it is greater than 199.9 uh, ohm, which is what the QTIP was reading. It was just saying it was greater than. We are steadily creeping up. But with the mega, obviously, you can see we've got a, a more precise number. 674 i mean you probably if, I, if you you know if you keep your finger down on that test button you probably will clear all the way up to into the 900 or something but that's a good reading and that's a great reading edge of the property it's probably 20 30 years old this property the installation as well we've got the cables red and black cables which i mean at least dates it 22 plus years old so 21 years old or whatever. So we've got, uh, yeah, 500 and something mega on there. I think we'll do next, we'll just check out quickly the R1, R2 leads. Prop clip up to the earth bar up there. Again, all these are nice and tight inside. And with this being a magnet, again, you can see it's magnetic, we'll connect up to the cooker there. So we are now testing between the line conductor and CPC. So we're gonna get an R1, R2 reading uh on the cooker circuit i think what i'll do leave the mega there and we'll go and use the qtec i've exposed the terminals on the cooker outlet here it's a little bit wonky the back box does go on forever back there way beyond the tiles ne uh, the leads are nulled so all the resistance in the lead has been taken out connect up to cpc and line we should get a reading and that's coming back nice tight reading there 0.11 that's a good decent enough reading, testing between line and CPC all the way back to the board with the help of the link, um, linking out between the uh, earth bar and the line terminal for the cooker. It would be interesting to see what the resistance of the R1R2 lead is. Right, back at the board and I'm having a bit of a testy test off between myself here. So I'm going to just show you something. Clearly, if, if you can just, I don't know if you can see the screen or not. So I'm going to, I'm going to link out the, um, the resistance in these leads. So turn the light on this thing here. So we've got continuity. This is the q -tech. You can clearly see the leads coming down the back there. So let's link these out. So we've got, can you see that? 0 0.75 of resistance in the leads and the crop clips and stuff like that. So I'll compress the null and that will bring it to zero. So that one's nice and clearly nulled now. Now if we just rest them up on there, well, we'll do the same thing, but for the mega now. So it's so all set up again, like this, we'll just link them out. See so if we only get 0 0.04 on the entire leads and the crop clips of the mega, well, the mega leads. Uh, that would lead me to believe that there is naturally a bit more resistance in the QTEC leads that you have to kind of get rid of when you're testing. 
something to look, to look out for that. I've always known winter and summer, you know, the temperature differences is you always gain a bit and lose a bit when you're resist, uh, not in the resistance in the leads. But yeah, so there's a big difference there. Uh, 0.71 ohms, basically. 0.71 of an ohm, uh, and just in the lead difference. So we'll null that one out. So there's both these leads are now nulled. And while I've got these in my hand, we'll see if there's any resistance in this R1, R2 lead, this link lead from Superrod. I'll link that out there. So it's the Mega says no, Mega says there's nothing there. I'm happy with that, happy to go with that. Just kind of leave them dangling down there. And then let's check out the QTEC, connect him up there. A bit fiddly, this. We got a reading. What's he saying? Oh, we got a reading up there. Zero point. I am pressing quite hard to be honest, but yeah, we did get there. We are naturally. It's, only, it's very minute, it's negligible. However, you say it. It's uh, zero point zero two. If you can see it on the screen there, just it's nothing in the grand scheme of all this testing, old installations and everything. But I thought I'd just share that with you today because it's uh, it's a we can get tangled up in everything there. It's uh, you know testing and stuff like that. Doing the ICRs, it can be a bit of a drag, bit of a bit of a thing to do. But if there's if there's always a way of speeding it up, like I said before, without cutting corners, without being dodgy, without missing tests, I think we've got something here with these two that's going to work. Uh, obviously, it does depend on you having an ICBO board. I mean, these these should be pretty much, you know, what's going in properties now. Uh, all retrofit boards are going to be having ICBOs in. And these these little um, links here, we haven't gone into the yellow one, but it's basically the same. The yellow one's the same as the red one. However, if you can see, let me just get this out of the way so there's no confusion. So the yellow one is same length. Yep, same length. You can see it's just a little bit thinner than the, than the red one. The red one's thicker. It will actually still go in there, but it's for a different, you know, you can go further down with it. It's got a slightly different um, head on it as well. But yeah, so these these do speed things up without the um, being dodgy and uh, fudging numbers, as they say, to suit, I think... Um, I think I continue to use these, especially the IR link. This is a this is a game changer because you know we don't have to do that undoing things and stuff like that. Especially when you've done tests and then you've put a board on, and you know the readings yourself. You've 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 kind of talked all the connections up, all the terminals up, and everything. You just come along with this, connect it up, and away you go. All right, I'm going to go back to testing now and finish this job off. See ya.